Hello and welcome to this video, in which we will examine criteria such as power, weight, engine ranges, service locations, and more. We will examine which of these engine manufacturers produces the overall best truck engine. Watch until the end to find out which is the greatest truck engine. And keep watching if you want to know the answer. You will be amazed by it. Packar Incorporated is an American Fortune 500 company and counts among the largest manufacturers of medium and heavy-duty trucks in the world, and has substantial manufacturing in light and medium vehicles through its various subsidiaries. It was originally founded as the Seattle Car Manufacturing Company in 1905, primarily producing railroad equipment. In the 21st century, Packard primarily manufactures trucks and heavy equipment. The Packard MX-13 engine is built by Packard at their Columbus, Mississippi facility. From the CNC machining centers for engine blocks and cylinder heads to robotic assembly, MX-13 engines are manufactured to extraordinarily high standards. To achieve excellent repeatability and high quality, the plant utilizes torque-controlled tooling, and all engines are 100% hot tested before they leave the facility. The Packard Engine Plant in Mississippi opened in 2010 to build Packard MX-13 engines exclusively for Peterbilt trucks, which are also owned by the parent company, Packard. In 2021, Packard began offering the MX-13 engine to Pierce exclusively for the fire truck industry. The Packard MX-13 engine incorporates industry-leading design features that improve uptime, optimize fuel economy, reduce maintenance costs, and maximize your return on investment. Detroit Diesel Corporation is an American diesel engine manufacturer headquartered in Detroit, Michigan, United States. It is a subsidiary of Daimler Truck North America, which is itself a wholly owned subsidiary of the multinational Daimler Truck AG. The company manufactures heavy-duty engines and chassis components for the on-highway and vocational commercial truck markets. Detroit Diesel has built more than 5 million engines since 1938, more than 1 million of which are still in operation worldwide. Detroit Diesel's product line includes engines, axles, transmissions, and a virtual technician service. Detroit engines, transmissions, and axles are used in several models of trucks manufactured by Daimler Truck North America. The Series 50 engine is used as a major bus engine in North America, especially in buses built in the mid to late 1990s and early 2000s. The power plant was offered for several applications, trucks, buses, motorhomes, construction, and industrial equipment, and military vehicles. It is unusual to find an inline four-cylinder engine propelling heavy-duty buses, which traditionally use inline six V6 or V8 diesel engines. In 2000, to better respond to more stringent EPA emission standards, Detroit Diesel announced revisions of the Series 50 for diesel applications. The changes included the addition of an exhaust gas recirculation system and a variable geometry turbocharger system to improve torque. In September 2004, Detroit Diesel ceased production of the Series 50 heavy-duty diesel engine for on-highway applications due to emission standards. It is still available for off-road applications. A replacement was scheduled to take place in 2007 and then was pushed back until 2009. According to Detroit Diesel, Series 50 engines will no longer be produced for non-Daimler AG trucks or buses beginning in 2010. Cummins Engine Business Unit consists of aftermarket support, mid-range, heavy-duty, and high-power engines. Its markets include heavy and medium-duty trucks buses, recreational vehicles, light-duty automotive, and several industrial uses, including construction, mining, marine, oil and gas, railroad, and military equipment. One of the most popular engines made by the company is the 5.9-liter inline six-cylinder engine used in the Dodge Ram light-duty pickups starting in 1988. In 2007, a 6.7-liter version of the Cummins straight-six engine became optional on the Ram pickup. In 2008, Cummins was named defendant in a class action suit related to 1998 to 2001 model year Chrysler Dodge Ram trucks, model 2500 or 3500. Originally equipped with the Cummins ISB 5.9 liter diesel engine built by using a pattern 53 block, the case has been settled, but some qualified Chrysler owners may receive $500 for repairs to the block, which was alleged to crack and create a coolant leak. In April 2013, Cummins utilized technology developed by Westport Innovations to begin shipping large natural gas fueled engines to truck manufacturers in the United States as trucking companies began converting portions of their fleet to natural gas and the natural gas distribution network in the United States. Do you love such powerful engines? Then make sure to subscribe to our channel and leave this video a like if you've enjoyed it. The typical horsepower rating for the Mac E7 is between 250 and 400 horsepower. At the lowest rating of 250 horsepower, the Mac E7 engine will put out 975 foot-pounds of torque. Consequently, 
At the highest horsepower rating of 454, a Mac E7 engine will put out an impressive 1,660 foot pounds of torque. The vast majority of Mac E7 engines still on the road are later models which are all water cooled. The original design of Mac E Tech crankshaft until 1990 featured a turbocharged air mounted cooling system. After 1990, Mack engineers developed their patented Econovance variable injection timing system, which increased fuel efficiency greatly and cut emissions. Many speculate Mack redesigned the engine to meet the Environmental Protection Agency's emission standards. Since 1990, more redesigns have been implemented to meet EPA regulations. The Econovance system was used exclusively on the E7 engine, but not adopted by other production lines at Mack. In addition to the Econovance technology, Mack also introduced another modification to its E7 line, which improved the efficiency of the air-fuel mixing ratio through a high-injection pressure combustion system known as Swirl Technology, which increased airflow greatly. The higher pressure injection system improved fuel economy and combustion productivity, all while optimizing proper oil viscosity and reducing engine emissions. Due to the increased airflow, a byproduct is less pressure on the injectors. Customers are happy to find that the injector failure is quite uncommon with Mac E7 models. In addition, if you want to advance in life, don't forget to show us some love by hitting the like and subscribe icons. So which engine do you think is the most powerful in the world? Let us know in the comments. And with that said, thank you for watching. See you in the next video.